Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all galaxies, welcome to something I have never done before, but have kind of always wanted to. An unboxing. <laughs> I really like, I don't know, people reviewing things, I really like seeing new tech and everything, and recently I just went out and bought um, a, a controller called the Vader 2 for Windows and Android, mostly for Windows, I don't really need this for my, for my, um, phone, <laughs> but, um, I figured I'd do an unboxing of this, and I'm really hoping the audio works, because I was messing around with it last time, and I realized it wasn't working properly, so I've been, I've been, uh, doing things, I guess, I don't know, um, it is very hot in my room right now, so sorry if I'm, sorry if my hands get sweaty or something, um, but anyways, let's get on to the, the unboxing, as you can see, Vader 2, really good packaging, honestly, I was not expecting this, um, it's kind of one of those slip-on cover thingies, and, hold on, listen to this, God, I keep hitting my mic. on cover uh, it just tells you about the uh, four extra buttons if I can yes yeah, so M1 M3 M4 M2 um, it's got four back buttons the three axis gyroscope so it actually like I it's only probably gonna work for Android but if you wanted you could like move it and actually like turn stuff it's got an Alps rocker don't know what that means I assume it means like the vibrator, so like when it vibrates. Multi-platform support, it's got Bluetooth, it's got 2.4G, 2.4G, and it's wired. Well, well, it's it's a hybrid, you can plug in a wired controller, which honestly, I think is the best option now. I really like wired, but sometimes the wire just breaks. It's not really the controller's fault, so get a new, get a new wire, it'll work out. Anyways, patching, packaging. I don't, I know, I just really, with this being ASMR, I kind of want to go through all the details, like even just, because I don't know, I really like packaging. As you can see, rule of the game is planted on the thing, and the company's, or the, the I assume the company's logo, this is a cool logo, honestly, nice and edgy, <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, box opens up, sorry about the, uh, uh, there is a thingy here can't read it. It's all in uh, Asian lettering. So, not much, not much to, not much to see here. Sorry about the brightness. I don't, I gotta, you're not gonna be able to see much because of the uh, white balance. Oh, this is actually in packaging. Let me, let's just grab that real quick. Sorry about the camera angle. I can't, I can't have it above me because the way I have my camera set up, so this is the best I could do for now. My apologies. Let's actually hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna um, unwrap this. Let's actually let's um let's listen to plastic for a bit. put that there for now on my fridge all right so the controller wise as you can see it's got a it's I was I, when I was looking through the reviews hold on sorry I'm just trying to trying to get used to it 
When I was looking through the reviews, are funny enough, people were complaining about the plastic, but this, like, the buttons are kind of plasticky a bit, but they feel nice. They got a, a texture feeling, but the controller itself has some kind of pattern on it, and it doesn't really feel that plasticky. I, I like it. It's very grippy, and I'm, it doesn't really put fingerprints, so it doesn't really collect fingerprints, so that's also good. Um... In terms of the quality and heavyweight, I'd say this is about five pounds. I I really like lighter things, of course, but like because the mouse I have right now is like super light and everything. Oh my bungee cord! I don't know why that keeps turning off, but as you can see, the black um sort of matte finish, I guess I don't know, with uh. Uh, gray buttons. There's actually, it's basically, it looks like a Xbox controller, but if you hadn't noticed, sorry, I'm trying to get the angle right so it's even. If you haven't noticed, there's actually, um, there's actually two extra buttons here in the front. These are macro buttons. These, I'm um, pretty sure once you get the, once you get the, um, what's the word? The application for this controller. You can actually add macros to it, along with the four back buttons, as you can see. Um, there are also uh, interchangeable, so you can change, or you can add stuff to it. Uh, the bumpers and the triggers are actually very good. Normally, I have an Xbox controller here. Normally, these are too smooth for my liking. This is why I didn't want an Xbox controller, because these just feel horrible. This, it's like. When it comes to me, I don't really care about the the controller itself. I care more about the buttons because that's what, like that's what you're really feeling most of the time. Like yeah, you're feeling the controller, but you're paying attention to this. So I don't know. These kind of suck. That's not very good. And these, I just hate these bumpers. They are way too smooth, and I sweat a lot from my hands. Like when it's during the day, and so my hands kind of just slip off, and I don't want that. I want to be like. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. With these, as far as I can tell, um, they're they are plasticky, but they're again I don't know if they're textured or not, but they're they're rougher and they grip easier. Like watch, I don't like pushing. See, barely anything. Plus, they're not as smooth, which I personally like. It like adds um, as you can see, there's like a concave right in here, like right, and then it goes this way. This is perfect, because no matter where I am, I have a nice place to kind of rest my fingers. And the back buttons are super easy to reach to. I, I can get them with my hands. Um, the thumbsticks. I really love the thumbsticks, because they have a bigger concave, bigger, I think it's concave, convex, I don't know, with a, with a nice ridge, like a very nice, very nice ridge here. Also, these, um... These little rings around, sorry, I'm trying to, these rings around the controller are actually rubber. And from what I could tell on the website, they're made to make it so it doesn't scratch because I, um, the thumbsticks are actually metal as far as I can tell. I can't really, yeah, they're, they feel metal. I don't know if they're uh, just a fake plastic or something. But anyways, they're made so they don't scratch because like when it comes to, a lot of Xbox things. Yeah, here, look. If you can see, it's very white, so I'm sorry. But it's kind of scratched. The rubber is made to protect that. So that's cool as well. Um, this does glow. Which is cool. <laughs> that's, the, um, that's the company's logo, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, so this is the Vader 2 which is interesting. It's made in China, which is fine, I guess. Um, what else can I talk about? Oh, yeah, I don't know what these buttons on the bottom are for. There's like a, I assume these are for Android, because there's a home button here, and then a plus and a minus, which I assume is volume or something. The In terms of quality, again, let's talk about quality real quick, sorry. Again, very nice, very, very nice um, plasticky, like matte finish it's textured so it feels like it'll grip to your hand the rubber thumbsticks are amazing um again five to ten pounds the only complaint i would have is probably honestly the buttons and that's not even a major complaint 
Um, because it doesn't feel like they stick. It's very, I don't know, it's weird. We can hear the clicks. Hold on, let's let's listen to this com uh, controller real quick. I don't know if you can hear that. My apologies. I still have to mess with the settings. Yeah, start and select button. Oh, these start and select buttons are actually rubberized. That's cool too. I still don't know what this thing is. There's a. I know this is where the wired controller goes, but hold on, I gotta focus that. Focus, please. <laughs> Excuse me. I do not. I feel like something connects here and here. It's very interesting. It's nice that it's flat, though. It's always nice. Um, so yeah, I think t good, good quality controller. But how does it feel to play is the real question. So what's going to happen is I'm actually going to go play um, a game of my choosing, probably Spyro or Cyberpunk, and we're going to do some ASMR wandering or playing, and you guys can check out and form your opinion afterwards. All right, I'll see you in a few. I just realized, my apologies, there's more to this box. I didn't think there was. Um, again, apologies. So I was just looking at it because I was like, oh, where, where's the wire? Because I'm an idiot. Because I don't like playing with wires. Anyways, we got the, um, we got the USB dongle here. I don't know if that'll focus properly. Focus. Focus says hi. I don't know, it's probably too small to focus on. Um, but yeah, so the USB dongle here, but I'm just going to put this back here. There, but it's actually, if I move, if I move this, whoops, hit the mic, whoops. We always hate hitting the mic. If I move this, this is where the wire is. And what's cool about the wire is I thought it was just a regular plastic wire. No. Let's, uh, let's unpackage it. Honestly, I don't know why. I, I don't know why, but this smells amazing. Like the the box and everything. <laughs> I have weird. I have weird smells. Or well, I have my. I sm I like certain smells that are weird. Uh, let's just put that box over here. Let's I assume that's everything. Um, this cable is actually braided. It's not perfectly braided. It's very. It's kind of just braided, because usually braided is meant to. Um, make it so the cord doesn't tangle, but a lot of braids. This this controller is about sixty dollars Canadian, by the way, so it might be cheaper in America and otherwise. But yeah, it's it, this is usually what with braided cables like this, you kind of want to pull on them just a bit, just to straighten them out, and get rid of try and get rid of most of the creases, because usually the heat will kind of. At least this is what I do. So yeah, this all like untangle it, it yeah, but as you can see it's still kind of formed so kind of formed it won't tangle so that's good at least but yeah as you can see usb 3 to or no usb something to what i think is usb 3 so that goes to your phone or m maybe the opposite way who knows maybe that's what maybe that's what this is for can i is this what no okay so yeah you plug it in kind of snaps in. It's very hard to get out. It's not going to budge. You will play very well with this. Um, like as you can see, I'm pulling on it a decent amount. So yeah, this is the that's the braided cable. Works pretty well. Does its job. That's all you need really. Don't need it to be fancy sometimes unless you want it to be fancy. Because in the words of Peacemaker, nobody likes to show off unless it's dope as fuck. <laughs> But yeah, sorry about that. Anyways, I'm going to go for play and find a game to play, and I'll be right back with the footage of the gameplay. Hello. And welcome to Cyberpunk. 2077 
with the game player review, or not the game play, the controller review for the Vader 2 controller. Honestly, I forgot how beautiful uh, Cyberpunk was. <laughs> Honestly, something about this already just feels better. I have more control than a, than an actual thing. Do I have feet? I got feety wooties. I gotta check something real quick. It's saying encoding the load. I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. Let's uh, let's bring out my weapon real quick. Let's go into a back alley. Who the hell are you? They call you V, right? The one and only. Did someone from the family send you here? I came here alone. Uh, X. Here by pure chance. No one sent you. Why? Is this the kind of place I'm supposed to be? I don't know what I'm doing. Carolyn Castle did a perfect deal with the Scatman. Her along with the cyberware firm. And I didn't mean to actually come here. Oops, that's I'll go and take a look. Make sure everything's okay. If there's gunfire, I'll turn wait, it down. Wait. It's just well, this could be a real storm cloud. Just keep a lookout. Just keep a look. Let's bring out our gun. Actually, uh, idea. How do I crouch? How do I crouch? Is it Y? No, Y switches my gun. Is it? I assume B. Yeah, all right, here we go. This is perfect. And then, do I zoom? Oh, okay, perfect. There's some enemies? No, I feel like I'm being led into a trap. I keep forgetting Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk, honestly, has some good stealth. You can do an entirely s just stealth build if you wanted. Like, right now, I have an entire thing where it's just... Oh no, there's a lot of enemies. A lot of enemies. I gotta tag you guys. How do I tag you? Right bumper? Say more up. Oh, there's a guy there. Oh, that's not a guy. Never mind. These guys are just dying because they can't see me. They don't, they have zero clue where, oh, there's a, oops. <laughs> what happened? I can't believe I just killed them immediately. Oh, I was supposed to help them. That's a nice saying. Thank you, Cassidy. Some things money just can't buy. Speaking of money, can't just leave it sitting around. Thanks for everything, V. So long. Yeah, I feel like I should have just killed that. <laughs> that was quicker than I thought it would be. <laughs> How do I put my... Is it hold Y? Nope. Oh, maybe it is. How do I put my weapon away? Oh, it's just double tap Y. Alright, fair. How long have we been recording for? Five minutes. Honestly, the vibration's pretty solid, too, by the way. Uh, our... Up? There we are. I'm here with my car. Wait, what do you want? What do you want, punk? 
going to be tough. Let's go driving for a bit. Let's see if driving, how driving feels. There's, there's solid vibration throughout the entire controller, by the way, every time I jump. I assume it gets better. What is that doing? Uh, how do I call my car? Oh, man, my car's right here. What are you following me for? What the? <laughs> Dude, just up and disappear. You guys like my car, by the way? This took me a lot of money to get, but I, I love this thing, dude. It's so cool. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you can open, like, you can open um, doors and such. We're just going to, we're not going to be in first person because I want to. It's always weird how long the switch camera takes, but whatever. I think I have to fully stop, don't I? Switch camera, please. Okay, then it switch. Okay, it's just whatever. I guess we're in first person. I haven't drove in a long time, so my 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 driving skills. This thing goes up to like two hundred, I think, or so. It's it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, let's try getting back in. There we are. Oh no, I didn't want that. I don't understand why this doesn't switch. It just takes so long. There we go. Yeah, this thing's called the Avenger, by the way. It's wild. What is... Oh, there's a shop here. Interesting. I like how, like... You know, sometimes I will say about when it comes to controllers... <laughs> imagine if there was a keyboard with rumble. <laughs> That'd be wild. Also, every single bump that I hit on the road, my controller rumbles. That's amazing. Which is weird. Is it, it didn't... I don't think it rumbled when I shot at people though. It could have been that because I was in stealth mode. I'm trying to go to the big city so we can go walk around for a bit. God, I just love the city. It's kind of weird how stuff loads in front of me, but whatever. You kind of just can't look. You have to look at the car. Ooh, this looks pretty. Let's stop. Let's stop here. Wait, did my car just fully go red? That's awesome. Hello, dude. What's up? Apparently, they're finally making a DLC. I don't know why everyone hates this game. Like, yeah, the glitches are bad, but it's like... It's got a great story and great gameplay. It's like the Unity. I'm going to call it... This is like Unity. And does no one remember, like, how bad Witcher 3 was? Witcher 3 was awful at the beginning, dude. I do, I do believe that, like, glitches like this should, like, come out and whatnot. But it's like we've gotten to an age where the bigger the game is, I assume the more glitches it's going to be. This was just bad management, if anything. You can really tell, like, the love and shit that was poured into this in terms of, um... Just, uh, just in general, I assume. Oh, I gotta wait. Alright. But, like, I don't know. I just, I really like this game. It's, it's a good game. It's very fun. It's one of, it was one of my, it is one of my favorite games from this year. This, did it come out this year? I always forget when it came out. I think it came out, yeah, it came out in February, didn't it? Can I walk now? Ooh, ooh, look at that. That's cool. That's cool looking. Ooh, the police. Okay, we're at the police department. Yeah, let's not walk in there. <laughs> Yo, what's up, big guy? Feel the chemistry. What is up with my screen? My screen's doing some tearing. That's weird. Oh, that dude's hurt. That sucks. This is 
just, I don't know, this is just, something about this just looks cool, because there are like so many f- areas and whatnot. Can I walk a bit faster? Yes, I can. Let's go. Going for a nightly walk. What's that blue thing? Can I come in here? Oh, what the heck is this? Can't walk that way. Ooh, I can walk this way, though. So, like, oh, it's a fast travel point. Fair. That makes sense. Can I use these? Uh, what do I want? Let's get Nicola Blue. What's Nicola Blue? There we are. I can't wait for, like, a mod that, like, makes this... I don't know if they modded this game already, but it'd be hilarious if there was a mod, like, survival mod. Like, you have to, like, drink and stuff. Oh, hey, Takamaru, what's up? Takamura is weird, dude. I don't trust him. Ooh, can I get food from you? I saw a button. Oh. Yes. Oh, I can't sit down. That's no fun. That'd be awesome if I could sit down. But yeah. Anyways, I think I think um. I think that's enough. I think we're good on exploring. This is wild. Oh my god, look how... This is wild, man. Look at this. I do remember them saying, though, that, like, hey, you could go flying or something, but this is a very grounded game. You can't really go into the sky, which kind of sucks, and I get it. I can't wait for multiplayer, dude. This, like, multiplayer saves game... Or not saves, modded. Modding and multiplayer is what keeps games alive. Like, look at Skyrim and look at a bunch of other stuff. If you allow modding and if you allow, like, unless uh, you know, unless your game doesn't require multiplayer, but games like these, man, just, like, imagine an all-out, like, war or something. That'd be just amazing. The Yuakatori Night City. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it. The uh, final review of the controller is, it's it's amazing. I like this controller. I'm hoping it lasts a while. Oh, can I give Don't you money? Don't rub me. I'm gonna rub you. Anyways, this feels amazing. The 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 vibrations are awesome. Um, it's very nice to move around. Um, the buttons feel great. I love the buttons. Um, yeah, just just a quality controller. Ten, I give it a eight out of five or eight out of five, eight out of ten out of sub. On like a scale of zero to a thousand. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but yeah, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, link to this controller on Amazon will be in the description. GG and goodbye.